That's the one you probably had in your hand. Oh, is it? The Houston restaurant owner? No. Okay. This is Manchester great-great-gran <laughs> arrested to feel naughty? Different. You don't have to read out all the stories and then give it Oh, the right. For okay, later. let me see if I can find the wrestler. Oh, here we go. Nice. All right, here we are. All right, so Francis, this is your audition here. So just uh, nice and loose. Yes. Nice and natch. Oh, uh, my God. This yeah. is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one... You want it? This, this is, is the. How do you even find I mean, I don't this? Make the stories. Dude. Hire this man. All right. Uh, in a, we we have to. What you're about to hear might might be unsettling to those of you incapable of walking. But um, the wrestler Night Stalker, that's his actual stage name, has been accused of raping quadriplegic woman under his care twice, not once, after the rape kit found his DNA on her. Sounds like they have money. Um, a wrestler <laughs> who also works as a caretaker has been locked up in jail after being accused of repeatedly raping a quadriplegic woman. Uh, his name is Scott Matthewson. He wrestles under the name Night Stalker. Night Stalker. His samples matched. Um, and as we can tell, this is a truly... Horrific story. Um, <laughs> according to the report, the quadriplegic woman's legs and arms were paralyzed when she was 23. Um, before she moved in with Matthewson and his wife, an investigation was launched af after the alleged victim told a welfare officer Matthewson had raped her. Meanwhile, the professional wrestler, you know, this is not going to go well for me. I don't see a scenario where any, how many people watch this show? Like, is, does this go out to people? Yeah, about 30,000. Oh. In Manhattan. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Oh, it's local. <laughs> and is it, how long does it, like, live on? Can people watch this on, on demand? It's, it's behind a paywall. You're fine. Whew. You're okay. just reading a story. I don't understand what the You're problem is. Did, how did you, I mean, were you, were you, like, um, did you Google news story? Did you Google news stories with the keywords rape, quadriplegic, and paralyzed, and Ugh. night stalker? Somebody's no, seen. why would I want to get all excited before work? <laughs> <laughs> well, we do have some good news, Francis, that'll alleviate the tension for uh -huh. you. Uh, we have uh, the. If you night smell what the rock is cooking. Oh, yeah! Oh. Woo. Is this the Night Stalker? It smells like a raping time. Wow. Hold down your nanas, because Dada's here. Midnight train stalker guy. Yep, Nate Night Stalker, thanks for joining the show. I'm surprised that you are out in the open. You should be where Gino is, uh, among the palm trees. Nobody can believe her if she can't walk. Oh, that's right. Because uh, she can't get to the courthouse to testify. I'm doing good as a wrestler. I also have a day job as a caretaker. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, Night Stalker, why don't you give us your take on what went down with um, this poor woman? Well, I threw her against the turnbuckle. <laughs> Oof. I gave her a body splash, a leg drop, a elbow drop, a four finger pussy mangler, <laughs> and then I, I dropped down a fisty no walkie. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, if you smell what the midnight night train is cooking. <laughs> now, how does a quadriplegic, how far do they bounce oh, off a turnbuckle? Oh, yeah, buckle? Vince McMahon. I raped your <laughs> nana. Gary Biscayne. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Gino, why don't you uh, ask some questions about this one? My, hey, Mean Gene. My, 
<laughs> my question is, what do you think has more life in it? This quadriplegic, uh, this quadriplegic that you bounce off a turnbuckle, which you obviously keep in your apartment. That seems weird, right? Or, <laughs> or a good friend Alice's enthusiasm for covering a story about a raped quadriplegic. What do you think has more legs? I think that the woman has two legs and they are useless unless they're on my shoulders, bouncing, 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 oh, bouncing. Wow. And, and well, also, oh, I have a bad, I have a bad connection. Oh, so could you cage match. <laughs> What was the last move you said you used on her? The, the four finger no walkie? Is that what it was? <laughs> the try and blow your own nosy. Oh. <laughs> you come a wrestling at Barstool, right? Right, Francis? I, I mean, obviously, you've heard of these moves, right? Um, you know, this, this does make me think that I didn't necessarily need to be fired because what you guys are saying That's and doing. That's what I was saying in my so text last night. Worse. That's crazy you got fired. Our boss got punched by a black lady. <laughs> <laughs> you did nothing. You wrote some words. Our boss punched a black lady and then went on a tirade. You did nothing. Wait, what is that about? What happened with your boss? <laughs> he got punched by a black lady in Times Square. Oh, is that Anthony Cumia? That's correct. He was your boss? No, still is. He is? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's cool. I'm going on his show in August. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, That'll great. help. I can't wait. <laughs> I need to reconsider where I appear. You're doing great now. He <laughs> really is. This is the you most you fun need... you've had since Thursday. It's, it's Friday. Yeah, Friday. right. Francis, Francis, well, Francis you, you need just feel like... footloose and fancy free. Look at the way I tuck my man pussy in these silver pants. <laughs> <laughs> Francis, you want to smell my nuts? Do you? No. Neither no, I did don't. the lady in the wheelchair, but she didn't have no choice. I, something tells me you could, use, you could use the juice. You have a choice. You can get away. Uh -huh. She couldn't. I go, time for your bath. Guess what I did? I forgot to mention ball bath. That's right. I just rubbed my balls all over her body like there was a sponge. Yep. Yep. And Jim Ross, I'm coming for you. Hulk Hogan, I'm coming for you. He doesn't wrestle anymore. No walking lady, I'm coming for you. Mm. I practice all my moves on a bitch can't walk. Wow. The doctor. <laughs> so wait, wait, uh, here's my question. I think I got it. You didn't realize she hey, was an Francis, actual question. You know why I performed cunnilingus on that lady? No, what's the, the point? The doctor told me I need to eat more vegetables. Oh. <laughs> oh. Is it that, I mean, that was actually a pretty Midnight good joke. Crane. <laughs> I can't take a job's not unionized. I make people live with us. Uh, Is it possible you thought the wheelchair was part of her wrestling bit? Like everyone has an outfit, and you thought she was that was like her thing. She was the quadriplegic granny. Is that I what you thought? I was fighting a robot. <laughs> <laughs> what? You just do a car what? wheel. <laughs> You, yeah, I did. You thought, oh, you thought you were fighting Dr. whatever, Xavier from the X-Men. That's correct. Hey, mm. Francis, you want to smell my right tit? No, nope. <laughs> look no. at it just hanging there. You look it's like you under your breast. It's themselves a wrestler. Yeah. Th that is a horrible outfit. I don't even understand. <laughs> I don't like it either. That's why I always take it off before I fuck vegetables. Uh. <laughs> Stop the show. You can't beat that. That's what we got to tap out. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> yeah. You better test me for performance enhancing drugs. You know why? I got feet that work as opposed to that bitch I fucked. Oh. <laughs> Made love to. Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> Hey, Gino, I look like that guy Jason Stewart that was on the show last week. <laughs> he, uh, he, he reappeared on Morning on Thursday. He doesn't hate us. Look at that. I saw him in the hallway. He was arguing with his life partner on the phone, talking about who should watch the Yorkshire Terrier. Hey, I got a joke. I came up with one. Yes. You okay. know, a um, Night Stalker, um, you don't call it Hell in a Cell. You call it Stem Cell Match. Well, all I can say is someone's been eating their vitamins and saying their prayers. I don't, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't feel like my joke did as well as I had hoped it would. That's all right, man. You're just learning as you go. Hey, yeah. let me ask you this, Francis. When mm. you're fucking a uh, woman that's incapable of walking, uh, <laughs> do you like to go on top of the bottom? Well, I don't know that I have the bicep strength to use her body to masturbate with, so... <laughs> Uh, probably I'd have to be on top, I suppose. Woo! 
Ooh. Or I could get, you know, on, on behind and do the prone bone. Whoa, this guy's a sicko. <laughs> <laughs> I hate him. He's, he's better right, than Gene, me. I, I got to get shot. out of here before this lady wakes up and I can't do what I got to do. <laughs> Does it really matter if she's conscious or not? My God. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, guys. See you, bud. Thanks. You're, in, you're in, he's a natural at this. Yeah, I'm, I'm picking it up, uh, I guess, as we go along here. Well, that was the Night Stalker. What an interesting um, amount of, of info he had to contribute um, to the program. Holy shit. Um, hey, Francis. Is this a real a story, or did you guys make this up? No, these are all real stories. That's a real story? Yeah. Wow. I got a feel good one for you. I don't want you to have to feel like every story. Yeah, unfortunately, be a that other lady couldn't feel good. Um, Sorry. What do you got? By the way, I love you. Have, uh, I love having you here. It means the world to me. I got very excited. I woke uh, up this way. It got me out of bed. I was like, <laughs> oh, I get that. Because I did your old show and I had such a great time. And that now was I'm excited fun. you get to do my show. And I know Thank it makes you. you feel uncomfortable, but you're doing great at it. 